guys what's on my phone and I love seeing those sort of videos where it's like what's in my bag, what's in my purse. They're sort of like the OG videos which YouTubers used to make but now I don't see a lot of YouTubers make this sort of videos so I was like uh, I love watching it so I should make it as well. So I hope you guys like seeing this video and if you did just give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram because I'm quite active there. So come say hey and without further ado let's get into it. So currently the phone that I'm using is Redmi 5A and I've been using it for a year now and I love it basically it's amazing. So the first thing that you guys see when I open my phone is this wallpaper and I absolutely love it. Then for the apps I'm just going to show you what's like I have three slides and I'm just going to go wow. I'm just going to go one by one and show you what all things that I have. So the first thing that I have is Play Store and you know if you have Android you have Play Store. So that's just random and basic. Then I have my gallery which I'm not going to show you guys because there are a lot of embarrassing photos that I don't want to show you guys because mm, no. Then I have the themes, then I have the tools and it has contacts, calculator, clock and all those random stuff that everybody needs so yeah it's just there. Then I have the Google app and this is like the most used app because you have Google, you have Chrome, you have Gmail because sometimes you get mails and you have to reply. So you get mails, then you have map to direct you where you're going. Then you have YouTube which is my favorite app and I'm constantly on YouTube and you guys know YouTube because currently you're watching on YouTube so you have the idea of what exactly YouTube is. And then I have my Google Drive, then I have my music, movies, Google Duo, just to video chat with your friends, uh, photos, then keyboard and Google Plus. That's it. <laughs> then I have my security and my apps which I hardly use. I think I have not touched it since I got this phone, so it's just random. Then I have my settings and for the next page I have music. So I have the normal music which is the inbuilt music app and I have Spotify. I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers saying to follow their Spotify playlist but I was like you know I can't follow you people because I don't have Spotify but now I do have so yes. Then I have my file manager basic. Then I have my Unum, I mean Unum, Anum, I don't know what it is. It is actually used to schedule your post now yeah. Already posted it, so oh. basically, right now I'm not using it much, so you don't see a lot of photos in there. But I used to schedule my post before I post it, so I see what my theme is going on and how the posts are looking side by side and stuff. So I do have that, and then I have my MI remote just in case because you don't have the patience to find the remote and you just want ding 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 done. So that's what I have and then I have my Instagram so if you guys are not following me on Instagram make sure you do so because because it's amazing <laughs> so make sure you follow me on my Instagram then I have my OG Insta it's almost similar as Insta uh, basically what I do is I'm a very bad stalker so I do stalk people and yeah I recently saw this person this is Sasha Burns she is amazing uh yeah I just saw her feed and it's like so beautiful wow like really so I need to stop people so just don't mind me just don't mind me <laughs> then I have snapchat and you know the basic snapchat things filters enjoy it if you are living the cool life then I have Pinterest and if you are not following on Pinterest Please do so because I have a lot of goals, like lot, lot of goals. And yeah, you can find some really cool pics, really cool aesthetic, which I usually don't have on Insta. My username is Aditi Parikar, so go search it, follow me. It will be fun time, I promise. And then I have YouTube Studio. This is basically the app. I just see what the analytics are going and how well a video is performing or all those random stuff that basically creators do. <laughs> then I have the live subscribers. So basically right now it tells me I have 105 subscribers. Good. <laughs> then in my essential tabs I have two things which is Alami and Plant Nanny. I'm going to show you guys what Alami is. So it's the best app. So if you are someone who does not wake up even if the world is dying or 
this natural calamity or anything happens, you are not going to wake up. So alarm is definitely for you. Then I have Plant Tangy. I have talked about this app in my uh, How to Be Fit and Healthy in 2019. So what this app is? Oh, sorry. So what this app does is where I don't drink a lot of water. So this app helps me to track my water level. So basically, I'm progressing. Okay, I'm progressing. Like yeah, I'm doing well. <laughs> then I have shared it. Basic thing. Then I have follow who. And what this app does is basically tells me who is following you, who is not following you, and all those you know social media stuff. Then I have WhatsApp, which I hardly use. And then I have MX Player. For watching videos, for watching movies, the basic entertaining stuff. Then I have UC browser. I don't know why I have so much browser things, but I have UC browser. Then I have the MI apps. Now, this apps are something that I hardly, hardly have touched. And then I have hike by hike. I really need to remove this because I hardly use it. So it's a good time. Anyways, then I use this sing app. Oh, I'm not going to show you. But I'm planning to do a music video, music cover, and if you guys want to see my music cover, I don't know, like how I'm going to sound. But if you want to see that, just come down below and tell me, and I'll definitely make one because that was one of my thing that I thought when I started making this album. Like, okay, on one point I'll definitely make a music cover, but that day has not came yet. So if you want to see my music cover, so just come down below and tell me. Then I have my shopping apps. It's Rombe, Nike, Shein, just basic girly stuff. Then I have calendar. Then that I have Google Calendar and the normal calendar. I don't know why I have two calendars, but I just have it. Then I have the standard apps. It's like uh, Amazon, Facebook, Torrent, Nightspeed. Now, now Nightspeed is like super amazing if you're a night owl and you don't want your eyes to be affected by the lights that's on your phone. So Nightspeed. Really good for that. Then I have Bitmoji. If you travel in trains, you definitely need the M indicator. But I don't travel in trains, but you still need it sometimes. Or the other time you need to go and you have to find those trains. So I have this. Then I have the My Geo because I am a Geo user. So then I have UC Browser. I said you guys that I have a lot of browsers. So that's what it is. Then I have the Entertainment folder, which is Showbox, and I download. Movies that I want to watch. Then I have the programming app. So yeah, I have those sort of my learning apps. Then I have the study apps, which is dictionary. Then I have the photo math, which I told you guys in my after school videos. Then I have VPS Office. It's like similar to Microsoft Word, which is that. And then I have Scan Scanner to scan the documents and stuff. Then I have Duolingo. Now Duolingo is a very good app. Very good at it at all, but I'm trying to learn it. And then I have Memorize, which is almost similar as Duolingo, but I don't know why I do have two apps for the same thing. That's just basic. Then I have the photography app, and what this app does is like I really think that I have a lot of apps. So starting with I have the You Can Perfect, You Can Makeup, which I hardly use, so I don't have those apps again. Then I have My Square. Polaroid effect. If you want to share it on your stories with me, then I have Pixart. This uh, Pixart in Canva is something that I use to edit my YouTube thumbnails. Then I have VSCO where I edit most of my Instagram pictures. If you want to see that, just come down below and tell me, and I'll make a video on how I edit my Instagram pictures. Then I have Airdrop, but now I hardly use it, so it's just there. Then you have seen Fuji. So if you want to click retro pictures, then Fuji is your best friend. Then I have Lightroom CC. Now I have a little preset which I made for myself, which I do use on some of the photos. So Lightroom is something like an editing app. It's same like VSCO, but VSCO has free filters. Then I have Snapseed. I use Snapseed just for a little brightening here and there. Then I use Unfold and Story Art for my stories, for my Instagram stories. Then I have video editing and I have InShot and Time Master. So this is very cool if you are on the run and want to edit something. Then I have a 
game folder. I know it's Popscape, Township, 8 Football, and I have two 8 Footballs because I have two accounts to play with. So it's fun. Then I have Inkpad just to write all the notes, or if I'm thinking about a video idea and I just want to write it down quickly, so Inkpad is good for that. Then I have Nike app. Sometimes you know, whenever you have cheat day, Nike is a place to go. Then I have Wordpad, uh, and what Wordpad does is basically has a lot of cool books, so you can read a lot of books from there. This is all what I have in my phone, and I hope you go out. <laughs> Again, I just. That's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, just give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to comment, follow me on my Instagram because I post a ton of pictures and you don't want to miss that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.